iQuist Theory wishes you the best of luck on your upcoming DMV written test. In cold and wet weather conditions, what is accurate regarding roadways on overpasses and bridges? A. Concrete roads are unable to freeze due to the cement structure. Old bridges don't typically freeze. C. They usually freeze before the rest of the road. C. They usually freeze before the rest of the road. Bridges have no natural ability to trap heat, therefore they will freeze as soon as the surrounding temperatures reach the freezing point. In contrast, most roadways are composed of asphalt, which is less resistant to heat loss. It is illegal for anyone 21 years or older to be driving with a blood alcohol content, VAC, of or higher. A. 0.05% b 0.1% c 0.08% for drivers aged 21 or older it is illegal to drive with a blood alcohol concentration bac of 0.08% or higher driving while under the influence of alcohol is not only illegal but dangerous this legal limit is established to promote safety on the roads by discouraging impaired driving. The blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of 0.08% is typically reached after consuming approximately four alcoholic drinks within a span of two hours for an average-sized person. It's important to note that alcohol affects individuals differently, and the best approach to ensure safety is to avoid drinking and driving altogether. When do you have to give up your legal right-of-way? A. Rarely. B. Whenever it helps in avoiding an accident. C. Sometimes, even at regulated crossings. B. Whenever it helps in avoiding an accident. It is important to yield that right of way when doing so, can help prevent accidents. Safety should always be the top priority on the road and yielding when necessary contributes to a smoother flow of traffic and reduces the risk of collisions. It is against the law to leave a child who is six years or younger without supervision in a vehicle on a hot day. When is it okay to do so? A. Only if the windows are slightly open and the child have enough water to drink. B. Provided they are supervised by a person the age of 12 years or above. C. When they are properly strapped in a child passenger restraint gear. Some children have the maturity to start babysitting as early as age 12 or 13. Leaving a child alone in a vehicle is against the law. You can be prosecuted under reckless conduct or second-degree child cruelty. A vehicle crosses up in front of you, causing immediate danger. What should you do? A. Scream, honk the horn and carefully step on the brake. B. Quickly enter the lane closest to you. C. Remove your foot from the gas pedal and brake gently. C. Remove your foot from the gas pedal and brake gently. In this situation, the recommended action is to take your foot off the gas and gently brake. This is because sudden braking or swerving into another lane can escalate the hazard and potentially lead to an accident. By lifting your foot off the gas, you allow more space between your vehicle and the one that cuts in front of you, giving you time to assess the situation and react appropriately. The most vital times to check traffic behind you are? A. Changing lanes, making turns, backing out of a parking space. B. Braking suddenly. Crossing an intersection. Backing out of a parking space. C. Changing lanes, crossing an intersection, or drastically slowing down. Changing lanes, making turns, backing out of a parking space. 
it's crucial to check your mirrors and look over your shoulder to ensure there are no vehicles in your blind spot before changing lanes. Prior to making a turn, whether left or right, it's essential to check your rear view and side mirrors to be aware of any vehicles approaching from behind. By checking the rear view mirror when backing out of a parking space will increase your chances of spotting pedestrians who may be crossing behind your vehicle. Parking spaces may have various obstacles, such as shopping carts, poles, or other stationary objects. What does this sign mean? A. Slow-moving vehicle. B. You always have the right of way. C. Work in progress. slow-moving vehicle. The bright, fluorescent orange triangle sign is very visible and provides motorists ample time to slow down. At night, the reflective red border of the SMV sign is illuminated by approaching headlights, immediately identifying a slow-moving vehicle. A curb painted blue means a. People who are disabled and have a specific placard and plate are allowed to park there. b. You are allowed to park for an hour and 30 minutes. See a designated spot to use your phone. This spot is specifically reserved for disabled persons with a special placard and plate. This is to ensure that individuals with disabilities have convenient access to parking spaces. It is designated for vehicles displaying the appropriate disability parking permits. This sign indicates a highway on-ramp, carpools 3, or more only. This lane may be used by which of the following vehicles? A carpool van, containing only the driver. A convertible with an adult and two children. A sport utility vehicle containing an adult, child, and family pet rabbit. Carpools three or more, indicates that only vehicles with three or more occupants, people, pets not included, are allowed to use that particular lane. Carpool lanes are designed to encourage the sharing of rides and reduce traffic congestion by giving preferential treatment to vehicles with multiple occupants. The idea is to reward those who are carpooling by providing them with a dedicated lane that may move more quickly than the general traffic lanes. It is safe to return to your driving lane after overtaking a car when a. The driver whose vehicle you passed signals you to do so. b. You indicate four-second signal that you want to get back to your lane. c. In your rearview mirror, you see the headlights of the vehicle you just overtook. Returning to your driving lane is safe when you can see the headlights of the past car in your rearview mirror. This ensures that you have enough distance between your vehicle and the one you passed, reducing the risk of a collision. It's important to wait until you can see the past car before merging back into your lane to maintain a safe following distance. This sign means A. Drive to the right. B. Right turn yield. C. Slower traffic should move to the right. Keep right sign signifies that drivers should stay to the right of the sign. This sign is frequently used to direct drivers through places where there may be an impending barrier or a divided road where they must stay to the right. It is critical to obey such traffic signs in order to maintain safe and orderly traffic flow. Why is it important to always look farther ahead on a freeway than on a city street? A. To detect potential hazards early. B. Because it takes a quarter mile to completely stop your vehicle. C. Because it helps you in keeping up with traffic flow. A. In order to see potential hazards early. 
On a freeway, it is crucial to look farther ahead to anticipate and react to potential hazards early. Freeways typically have higher speeds and greater distances between exits, so having an extended field of vision helps. What is the function of an anti-lock braking system, ABS, in a vehicle? To enhance the vehicle's aerodynamics and improve fuel efficiency. B. To prevent the engine from overheating. C. To maintain traction and steering control during braking. C. To maintain traction and steering control during braking. ABS helps prevent the wheels from locking up or skidding, allowing the driver to maintain control of the vehicle while braking. This can be particularly useful in emergency braking situations or when driving on slippery surfaces. Which of the following is an example of distracted driving? A. Adjusting the radio volume while driving on a straight road. B. Checking the rearview mirror before changing lanes. Reading a text message on a mobile phone while driving. C. Reading a text message on a mobile phone while driving is an example of distracted driving. Distracted driving involves any activity that diverts attention away from the primary task of operating the vehicle safely. This includes texting, using a mobile phone, eating, grooming, or any other activity that takes focus away from driving. After hitting a parked vehicle, what is the immediate action you should take? A. Wait for the owner to return. B. Report the collision to the police or CHP without leaving any information. C. Try to find the owner and, if unsuccessful, leave a note with your name and address. C. If you hit a parked vehicle, stop and try to locate the vehicle's owner. If they cannot find them in a reasonable time, leave a note on the vehicle with your contact information. Pin the note under the wiper. This note helps you avoid being accused of a hit and run. A hit and run is considered a criminal offense. Depending on the state, a hit and run may be charged as a misdemeanor or felony punishable by fines, jail time, license points, or all of these. If you leave, a police officer can use witnesses, surveillance footage, your license plate, and other evidence to identify and arrest you. As a result of a hit-and-run conviction, you will face higher insurance rates and you may even have trouble finding an insurance company to insure you. You hit and killed a deer on your way home from a trip. What course of action should you take? A. Immediately pick up the animal and drive home for a barbecue. B. Stop your vehicle, assess the damage, call the nearest humane society, police, or CHP. C. Take pictures for social media and then leave the scene. B. Hitting an animal while driving is not a pleasant experience. First of all use your emergency or hazard lights to warn any oncoming traffic. Report to the local police department the location of the animal's body so they can arrange for its removal. If you do not know the number for any emergency assistance or your local police department, it's recommended that you call 911. They can direct your call to the local animal control or police department. Tell them your location and explain you hit an animal. Make sure you stay in the area until help arrives. At what weight and age must children be secured in a child passenger restraint system facing the rear of the car? A. Up to 30 pounds and up to age 3. B. Up to 40 pounds and up to age 2. C. Up to 50 pounds and up to age 4. B. Up to 40 pounds and up to age 2. Buckling up is the single most effective thing you can do to protect yourself and your passengers in a crash. 
It is extremely important to make sure all children riding in your car are properly secured before every trip. Thousands of children are injured or killed every year because their child passenger safety seats are not installed properly. Remember, most collisions occur within a mile of the home, so buckle your child in a safety seat for every trip, no matter how short. If you are not sure of how to properly secure your child in a safety seat, contact your local CHP area office and ask to speak with a child passenger safety technician. When approaching a school bus with its stop arm extended and red lights flashing, what should you do? Proceed with caution at a reduced speed. Stop until the lights stop flashing and the stop arm is retracted. Pass the school bus at a safe distance. B. Stop until the lights stop flashing and the stop arm is retracted. When a school bus displays its red lights flashing and its stop arm extended, drivers in all lanes, including those traveling in the opposite direction, are required to come to a complete stop and remain stopped until the light stopped flashing and the stop arm is retracted. This is to ensure the safety of children boarding or exiting the bus. Passing a school bus in this situation is illegal and dangerous, 